Namaste, Sitaram, a pleasant good morning. Welcome to another segment of Rudraya. I am your host, Nisha Sharma, and please remember that Rudraya is being brought to you with the kind compliments of Maha Rujadev Mandir. Now, tonight at the Mandir, our seventh session, Gyan Yagna, concludes. So tonight is our last night. So please, if you haven't visit, uh, visited us during this past week, in commemoration of our one year anniversary at Maharujadev Mandir, please do not miss the celebrations tonight. Join us tonight for our last session. Starts at 7 p.m. and concludes at 9. Without further ado, we will join our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, for a religious message.
Sometimes we'll actually see the Ramachandra ki jai. In a beautiful bhajan itself, it explains and it teaches us. Teri man mein hai Ram, teri tana mein hai Ram. Man itself means our mind. Tana itself means this body. So it means that the Rama, or it means that God. When we speak of Ram, the sages and saints ask, that which Ram are we speaking about? Are we speaking about the Sharataji son? Are we speaking about the beloved of Sri Sita Devi? Are we speaking about Parshuram, Radhika, Ramana Ram? And so the sages and saints say, no, Ramante Ram. That Ram itself, which is God that dwells within us, this principle. And so they say that, Tere mana me he Ram, Tana me he Ram. Roma, 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 Roma. Just to let you know, Roma itself means that Paul's or Paul itself means that every Paul itself that is there in our body itself it echoes God's name for a devotee. In mind, body, and soul, uh, the name Ram itself, the name God itself uh, enters into us for one who is steeped itself in devotion. Ram sumirale dhyan lagai. That if a person itself is fortunate in this life to remember the greatness itself of the dear Lord, to hear, to listen to the holy exploits of the dear Lord, indeed, they are called almost blessed. All works itself becomes fulfilled through God's grace. Means that a person itself they will go to work itself. Nothing anyone says to them will get them upset. Nothing that one can do against them will antagonize them. But there is said that work is worship and duty itself is God. These are the words of Shri Sattva Sai Baba. Maya me tu ulja ulja dhar dhar dura urai ab karta kyo mana bhari jaba Maya sat churai. That we have to understand that this world itself is called as an illusion. It is called as a mirage. Meaning that, you know, within a twinkle of an eye, we started one year. Within a twinkle of an eye, this year itself has gone. Within the twinkle of an eye, we were a little child, a little toddler running as far as we can remember. Now, we are a big man, we are a big woman, we are a young lady, a young man. We are an elderly person. And so where has a life, where has time itself gone? That all wise individual, it indicates. The poets say that, oh, be most careful. Be most, most careful itself and do not allow all of this itself to slip you by. You see inside this body, as we indicated and we have said, that, you know, in our homes, we protect our homes with security cameras or burglar proof, right? And what is the idea, Robin, of having these? Make sure that no bandits, no people enter. But what are you actually doing to protect thieves itself from entering within you? You are leaving yourself exposed. And if you leave yourself exposed to self in such manner, then you will allow these thieves, Panchalutere, these five, a calm, a crowd, a mother, lobe, a hamkar, and we can continue more than five. The poet here only gives five. Meaning we allow anger, we allow jealousy, we allow covetousness, we allow this unforgiven nature, we allow conflicts itself to enter into our, our main stream. And so what are you doing now? And when these tenants enter, as we say, enter your house, you ever had a tenant from hell? If you can't get out, then you have to go to court, Darshan. But when them enter into society, yeah, then you're in real trouble. Then you need a, you need a whole court. And this is the court. This is the judge. These are all the judges who can help remove these tenants. Because I tell you, once they enter and they remain, they create havoc. They create total havoc. They, our, 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 our sense itself of thinking, it becomes warped. And so, what do we do? Then we go by our good doctor. Like in our midst here, we have Dr. Sachin here. We go by our good doctor and we say, Doc, then what can I take? 
what can I do? It's uh, because now I'm stressed. Now I can't think straight. Now everything aggravates me. Everything I do, nothing itself seems to go right. You know, when we speak about doctors, and no offense, Dr. Sachin, okay? But every time when we go to a doctor office, we always, if we book an appointment for 9 o'clock, but we don't see a doctor till about two hours after. And if you go in an emergency for 8 o'clock in the morning, you might see a doctor 8 o'clock in the night. All right? So then I think, but I should go 8 o'clock in the night instead. I don't know. Anyway. You know, but we, we never, we never, we always thinking about ourselves, about the problems and pain that we go through itself in life. But we never ever think about what they themselves go through in life. Uh, you know, I was reading this and uh, I started thinking, you know, there was uh, this man, his child got in a little accident, not most major accident, but his doctor had just finished his shift. Uh, and when his doctor finished his shift, uh, he was just about to leave. The hospital was the last doctor itself on call, next doctor hadn't reached yet, and so he was just about to leave. He had to, he was hurrying to get his clothes on to leave. And so this young man came and he started shouting that, where's the doctor, where's the doctor? He said, the doctor is just about to leave. We are going to have one who's coming in a few minutes. He said, no, 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 get this doctor back immediately. That this is, my child is sick. And so they, they hurriedly called the doctor. The doctor himself came, he came walking, he was very tired. Came walk and then the young man himself started yelling at the doctor and said, that, oh, don't you feel ashamed that here you have such a sick child itself here and you're busy walking out? Look at how many sick people. The doctor says that my child could die at any time. The doctor says that I am not here to save the life. I can, it is God itself who does everything. I'm just an instrument here to perform whatever needs to be done for the welfare itself of the child. I am not God. And so the young man himself, he quarreled and he quarreled with this poor doctor and this doctor didn't say anything. He said that, you wait. So within an hour time, he came back out and he said towards the family members that, you know, he has to leave. The nurse itself will tell you what is the prognosis, what is, what is the answer. And so the young man himself, he started yelling again and started quarreling again when the nurse came out and he said, I will tell you what happened. He said, look at this doctor. Does he not feel ashamed? Here he didn't even bother to even tell me what's happening to my son. Just that the nurse itself will tell you. Anyone itself will say, what kind of doctor is this? And so the nurse itself comes out and says, that, listen, the doctor himself, you know, he himself had a death in his family. And so he was running and rushing himself to make preparation itself for that. But when he heard that your child was sick, he ran back. And so don't blame him. Don't blame him itself for not saying. He told me that the child is safe through the hands itself of God. Devotees, this is what we have to understand. We always think only about ourselves, but we never think about the other individual, what they themselves might be going through. So, that we have now, we go by the doctors and we say that give me the best type of pill. Give me a magic pill itself that will help eliminate all of these worries and all of this misery itself. Meaning, the childhood life itself is spent in plain. All our life we become asleep. And so when we fall asleep itself in such manner, then what do we do? We begin to lament and we begin to think that where has my time itself gone by? Hence, it is never ever too late itself to remember the dear Lord. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai
प्रेम से बोले श्री महापति महादेव के जय जगदम्बे माता के जय क्वेस्टरम इज वे यू विल फाइंड एक्सपीरियंस डॉक्टर्स एंड थेरापिस्ट सर्विंग द डर्म रीजन फॉर ओवर टेन इयर्स आवर फ्रेंडली एंड हाईली ट्रेन ट्रीटमेंट टीम डायग्नोज एंड ट्रीट अ वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ इंजरीज एंड पेन We will manage your care with your family doctor and specialists, and bill directly to your insurance company. We are conveniently located at 1031 Brock Road in Pickering. Flexible appointment hours are available. Please call us at 905-428-1266 to book an appointment. Are you looking for that special piece of jewelry? Come check out Omesh Jewelry. With its newly owned location, Omesh is now able to offer better prices with excellent personal service. Coming from a generation of jewelers known for their exceptional skills, Omesh offers an array of one-of-a-kind jewelry, including religious pendants. With a new location, Omesh has invested in state-of-the-art laser equipment and CNC machines, so your jewelry will be manufactured on site. Visit Omesh and his crew now at 6440 Finch Avenue in Toronto. Now, my dear viewers, we started last week. with uh, informing you telling you explaining to you what the objectives of maharudradev mandir was about when we created the mandir one year ago and as our uh, one year anniversary is upon us we have decided to reflect upon the past year so last week we went through three of our five objectives today we would let you know what the, the other two objectives are and how we've attained them this past year so our fourth objective was to encourage youth participation in all our religious observances and cultural events we have had a successful dinner and play event where our youths participated in a religious play taken from our holy scriptures our budget nights have been organized by our youth community we recently had a successful three night yagna by our youth devendra ragbir singh where he lectured from our holy scriptures and our fifth objective for maharudradev mandir was networking and forming alliances with other charitable organizations and community partners in the advancement of community service as community partners well we've partnered with rameshwar mandir lending support to their mission and sharing our best practices with them We've also partnered with Dr. Ross Healing Place where we continue to contribute to the well-being of their residents which is a home for battered women and children. We successfully celebrated all our major events including Mahashivratri, Holi, Hanuman Jayanti, Navratri, Ram Navmi, Krishna Janam and Diwali. These events through community participation were celebrated with grand splendor. We have truly had a blessed year at Maharudradev Mandir. My dear viewers, again today we are filming outside of Maharudradev Mandir, continuing to enjoy the last of the summer days. We'll now join our own Dr. Sachin Ramki soon for a health segment. Enjoy. Hello Ram and welcome to Health Corner. My name is Dr. Sachin Ramki soon and on today's episode we are discussing common eye conditions that may develop as we age. The human eye is an incredible organ. It allows light to pass into the iris, through the lens, and to the back of the eye where the retina is located. This light pattern is then sent to the brain where it is interpreted as an image. As many of us already know, as we all age, our vision changes over time. Some of these changes are predictable, while others can come as a surprise and can often threaten our vision. This is why anyone over the age of 50 or anyone with a diagnosis of diabetes should be getting yearly eye exams by an optometrist or an ophthalmologist it is the early detection of these conditions that may give you the best chance of treatment and protecting your eyesight firstly one of the most common changes in our vision as we age is the decreased ability of the eye to focus on close objects This usually begins around age 40 and is a predictable change that is not concerning. Usually this just requires reading glasses for close objects. Another common change is the decrease in the production of tears as we get older, leading to chronic dry eyes. This causes itching, burning and redness of the eye. 
It is not dangerous, but you may need a humidifier or special lubricant eye drops for comfort. The next is called eye floaters, which are the black or the gray specks, strings or cobwebs that drift about when you move your eyes. Floaters are harmless and do not require any treatment. However, if there is a sudden increase in the number of floaters, or if they are accompanied by sudden flashing lights, then this could indicate something called a retinal detachment. This is a serious problem that needs urgent attention to prevent vision loss. One of the most common conditions is cataracts, which are clouding of the lens inside the eye. In a healthy eye, the lens is clear like a camera lens, allowing the light to pass through to the back of the eye. When a cataract is present, the lens is cloudy, and this is seen as cloudy vision. These cataracts happen very slowly over time, without any pain, redness, or tearing of the eye. Since it is asymptomatic and happens so slowly, it often goes unnoticed until the vision is severely affected. Thankfully, a very common surgery can be performed to replace the cataract lens and restore vision. One of the most important conditions to recognize is retinal disorders. The retina is the thin lining at the back of the eye and is key in receiving light signals in vision. There are different conditions that affect the retina and these result in loss of part of the visual field. Since these conditions are more common in diabetic patients, there are, they are, these are important to know. Patients often say that it feels like a curtain comes down over part of the visual field of one eye. If this occurs, you should immediately see a physician for an urgent assessment. Another condition is glaucoma, which occurs when the pressure inside the eye builds up. This causes pain to the eye, a headache, and decreased vision. If not treated urgently, this, act, this can actually lead to vision loss. If this occurs, you should seek immediate attention. These are just an overview of some of the eye problems that become more common as we age and hopefully gives you an overview of the many conditions that can occur. Our best resource is our family physician and eye specialist. If you have any concerns whatsoever, the key is to seek early medical attention. Thank you for joining me on Health Corner, and I look forward to speaking with you again next week on Rudrayer. Clinic West Durham is where you will find experienced doctors and therapists serving the Durham region for over 10 years. Our friendly and highly trained treatment team diagnose and treat a wide variety of injuries and pain. We will manage your care with your family doctor and specialists and bill directly to your insurance company. We are conveniently located at 1031 Brock Road in Pickering. Flexible appointment hours are available. Please call us at 905-428-1266 to book an appointment. Are you looking for that special piece of jewelry? Come check out Omesh Jewelry. With its newly owned location, Omesh is now able to offer better prices with excellent personal service. Coming from a generation of jewelers known for their exceptional skills, Omesh offers an array of one-of-a-kind jewelry, including religious pendants. With a new location, Omesh has invested in state-of-the-art laser equipment and CNC machines, so your jewelry will be manufactured on site. Visit Omesh and his crew now at 6440 Finch Avenue in Toronto. My dear viewers, we've come to the end of another segment of Rudraya. Please remember to join us tonight for our last session of our seven session Gyan Yagna at Maharajadev Mandir that begins at 7 p.m. and ends at 9 p.m. tonight. The Mandir is located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 48 in Scarborough. Now, I have, for the past two weeks, I've gone through the objectives of Maharajadev Mandir and what we have done to achieve those objectives. My dear viewers, these undertakings of Maharujadev Mandir are in accordance to the Hindu teaching of karma, which is performing good actions for the betterment of our community. Hinduism preaches that community service helps to build a rich and supportive community of people who know each other and lend each other a helping hand when it is needed. Remember, the best way to lose yourself is in the service of others. So until we meet again, have a blessed week.
Namaste.